What's up, YouTube, interwebs people, everybody? Hey, a while back, you probably remember I produced a video showing how I record all my video game footage onto my MacBook Pro. And one of my biggest things was I didn't want to lose my HD playability while I recorded in HD. Now, before, I used a piece of hardware called the Slingbox HD Pro or something like that. Got rid of the thing. The thing was so hard to use and to be able to use it to stream to sites like Justin TV and Ustream. Well, what I did was um, I went out and I bought a Hapog. HD PVR. This piece of hardware has done nothing but been glorious in every aspect. Um, I'm going to show you how my new setup runs. I'm also going to walk you through how I edit everything on my Mac and also how I stream everything to Ustream. I'll show you everything that I do, how everything's hooked up to make it real easy. So consider this a whole new tutorial. If anyone's still using that Slingbox thing, man, kill it. This thing costs just as much as the Slingbox does, and it's so much easier to use. Trust me. All right, let's go check out the game room. I'll show you how everything's hooked up. All right, I'm in my game room. Now, what I'm going to show you first is exactly how I have everything hooked up. Now, this piece of hardware right here, the Hapog HD PVR, that's what I was talking about picking up. Um, this thing far outperforms my Slingbox. I actually sold the Slingbox on, uh, on eBay. But I'll show you how I got everything hooked up. So you can see my, my Xbox is sitting right next to the TV. Now, my audio, or I'm sorry, my, my AV um, outputs, I actually use the components here, the red, blue, green, and then white and red. Those run from the Xbox to the Hapog, and then another set of the same thing runs out from the Hapog back to the TV. So I get my, you can see I'm on Xbox Live right now, <coughs> signed in. Um, that's how everything's hooked up. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take you over to my Mac to show you the different pieces of software that I use, all of which are free. I've had to pay for nothing, nothing extra. You just buy this, done. The setup is a lot simpler than using the Slingbox. I'm able to stream to Justin TV, Ustream, record all my gameplay in high def and upload those videos to YouTube or any other site for that matter in high definition. We're going to move over to the Mac now. Um, the video is switch on. I'm actually going to show my uh, screen capture so you'll see everything that I'm doing in real time. And what you'll see, what you see here, you're going to see over on my Mac in just about a second. All right, actually, I'll show you that before we switch to the to, to my desktop capture. Now, what I'm launching is a piece of software called HDPVR Capture. For a Mac, you can, as soon as you buy the HDPVR, there's a link on their website for you to download this piece of software. It's free. Um, updates for free. You don't have to pay for it. Now, I'm launching this. Now, when we switch to that view, you're, you'll I'll do this again so you can see a detailed um, view of how I do my settings and everything. But <clears throat> what I'll actually do is um, I'm going to show you real quick how I uh, how I can how you can monitor your video here. I'll show you the video there and the video here all in HD. I'll show you that real quick before we switch over to uh, the actual setting. I've actually started it and in one second everything you see over there you're going to see over here. And if you come over here and look at the screen, you can actually see everything in high definition quality. And using my controller, I'll actually go up and down. There's a little bit of lag, but in the stream, there's not so much. And you'll see this just a second here, move up and down. There you go. And all the audio is there. So now we'll switch to my, my Mac view and I'll show you, I'll record my desktop and let you see that so you can see all the settings on how I record everything, how I export um, all my videos to be uploaded to YouTube or any other website. And then I'll show you how I set everything up for streaming. All right, in we go. You can see I'm on, I'm on my MacBook now and uh, the Xbox is still running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch this program here, HD PVR Capture. This is how I capture all my game footage so I can prepare for upload to our website, uh, YouTube, um, any of the other sites. So you launch this, this comes up, and all I do is I come over here, you can see my settings here, I've told it where to save, um, it knows, it's already detecting what's picked up, it already detects the signal, you can see right here, I'm in 1280 by 720 by 60 frames per second. Um, I usually just set the duration for three hours, um, I never record that much in one sitting. I'm always stopping and going. The only other setting you really have to set, um, you come over here to video encoder. I don't, I don't, I didn't change anything here. 
what I did is I come over to Audio Encoder. I want the blue light to be visible on the Hopog when I'm recording. And if I want to monitor it, this is important because you'll need to do this when you're getting ready to stream um, to, you know, Justin TV or Ustream. But just for the sake of just showing you how I record so I can process it later like an iMovie, what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and I'll click the perform post-processing. This will change it into an MP4 so I can import it into iMovie. Um, I don't bother with this. I just leave it at no. And then I hit record. Now, it's, it's recording. Um, the Xbox right now. If I had the, uh, if I had enabled the um, the monitor, you'd actually see it right now. But let's say this is all I wanted, and I'm just going to stop. All right, I'm done recording. So I would kill HD PBR capture. I no longer need it. Now what I'll do is I will show you how I import that into iMovie and edit that. I'll go ahead and I'll launch iMovie so you don't have to sit here and watch all the boring stuff. Re-recorded from my Xbox. Uh, import movies. I gotta find the folder. I keep the stuff in real quick. If this takes a little bit. I'll actually fast forward through all this stuff. There's right, so my movies. And what you're looking for is you're looking for that uh, MP4 file that you just processed. What's nice about the Hapog puts everything in chronological order. Dates, it uses a default of the date as the name, so I know immediately where to go to to find my file, which is right there. I'll go ahead and I'll import that. This is probably going to take a little bit to import because you're actually importing an HD movie. Oh, less than a minute. How do you like that? I'll go ahead and I'll fast forward this, this portion here a little bit. All right, now if you scroll down here, there it is right there. So what I'll do is I'll take that little portion here, highlight it over, and I'll go ahead and bring it up here to my timeline. And as you can see, there's what we recorded. Should hear the audio. If I move the stick at all. Yep. There it is. So there. And then once you're done doing your, if this was your actual gameplay, you just come up here, share, and you can go ahead and send it right to YouTube. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to actually, um, I tend to export the movie if I'm going to upload it to another website. But if you're just doing YouTube, you can just do it right there and done. Now, if we also host our own website, so a lot of times I'll export this as a high quality um, QuickTime movie, and then I'll, I'll manually upload that to YouTube as well as our servers. Um, but that's how you do that. Now, the next step I'm sure everyone wants to see is how you can stream your live uh, gameplay to Ustream and still play at the same time. Really simple setup, and I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to cut the camera off this time. I'll just edit the parts out that are irrelevant. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close iMovie for right now because I've shown you just about everything. And you know what? A lot of people use different editors before I close out of here. Um, I found that I can do just about everything in iMovie. I can do green screen stuff. Um, it's, you know, I could go to a more professional grade software, but for what I'm doing, yeah, why? You know what I mean? Why invest all that extra time and money for stuff that, or for fluff that I really don't need? So I'm going to go ahead and close iMovie out. Now, in order to stream to Ustream, you'll see that I already have my Ustream page up um, right here. You go to your Ustream uh, account profile, you're going to have to download a little XML file. Now, if you come into your settings here, Go to Manage My Channel and Advanced Settings. You'll see this Download the Flash Media Encoder XML file. You'll need a couple of lines out of that um, for the Flash Media Live Encoder. So go ahead and download that. Make sure you keep track of where it goes, and then you can open that in any kind of editor. Um, I, I just opened it with Opera just so I can see what I need to see in it. Um, what you're going to need is these two lines right here, which are at the bottom of the file. You'll see all this is a bunch of nothing. Down here at the bottom, you need this, and you need this with the exception of off-air. You just need that portion of it. So all of this, and then this portion right here. Um, I'll probably have to blur this out, otherwise you guys will be able to steal my account settings and stream to our account. So I'll actually black some of this out so you can't read it. Um, nothing against you guys, but you know. So... 
to go ahead and close Opera, you see those parts that you need. Now when you come into your Flash Media Live encoder, um, there, this is a two-part two process. You're going to need a program called Cam Twist. That's actually going to grab your audio and video and send it to um, the Flash Media Live encoder. Now before you launch either of these, my suggestion to you, so you don't pick up background audio um, in, in your house or whatever, and you just want the audio from the game, if you click up here and go to System Preferences and click Sound, your input should be Line In and your output should be Soundflower. And once you select those two settings, I can't make those changes now because it'll cut my internal mic off if I switch to Line In. But what this would do is making these changes, it will make sure that the audio cam twist is picking up and sending over to Flash Media Live Encoder. Um, it'll make sure that it's all the in-game audio so you're not having something, you know, it's not your computer's onboard microphone picking up the audio. It'd be crystal clear. So once you make those changes, Here's how you set everything up to stream over to, um, to Ustream. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to launch the HTTPVR capture. And hopefully this will all still record my audio. Um, we'll have to, for the sake of argument, so I don't lose audio in this tutorial, is we'll have to imagine that I've already made those changes in the sound properties. All right, so you're going to go ahead and do this. For this, if I'm streaming, I won't post-process. There's no need to. Um, <clears throat> so you can actually leave that alone. You will have to click the monitor this time because um, you'll actually be using that window to send over to the Flash Media Live encoder. So go ahead and hit record. This will come up saying that it's recording. And you're going to notice VLC is going to launch, and you'll see my preview window. Once that does that, I start to minimize stuff. You can get rid of this, get rid of that in the background, leave this up. As you can see, there I am. Yes! Gears 3, baby. Can't wait for it. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Cam Twist. There's a few settings in Cam Twist that you'll have to monkey around with to get this to work right. Go ahead and add that name if you want to play. And once Cam Twist launches up, you're going to select Desktop Plus. I already have settings already saved for my Hapog here, so I'm going to select that. And you can see everything that I already have there. Now, you'll be able to see some of these settings, like my overlaid images and all that stuff, as soon as I launch Flash Media Live Encoder. Now, those two things I told you about, those two things in that XML file that you need, here's where you're going to have to plug them in in order to stream. So Flash Media Live Encoder comes up. <clears throat> it should already be picking up. Yep, it is. So it's picking up. Now you can see the overlays here are what I called up in Cam Twist. So you see those are there. Everything's all set up nicely. Now those one settings, your FMS URL, it goes right there. Remember, that's everything but that part that says off air. So you put that all in there, and then that stream that stream thing right there, with the exception of the off air stuff, goes right there. So once you're ready to start streaming, and you've made your audio changes, just like I said, you can use all these settings here. See? Soundflower 2 channel. This is everything you're going to be sending out. So mirror these settings, and you'll have an awesome HD stream over to Ustream, Justin TV, or whatever. You're going to first hit connect here and then hit start. And once I do that, I am live and I'm streaming on Ustream. And everything's perfect. So that's all there is to it. I've shown you everything that you need to know. However, if I missed anything or if you have any other questions, you can hit me up with a comment on my YouTube page or just come over to our website, thegamerspulse.com.